All right, game started. All the glitters. 18 plus lobby. So we're looking at some decent players. We won't say that they're uh, extremely good players. Let's just say decent players. Because sometimes people uh, do some uh, menacing things like we've seen in the past videos. But um, yeah, let me just move this song away. Little song music. Should be fine. Um, Lanios going to be on the mountainside. Carolson going to be aiding him, but he's going to have to aid himself. What on earth am I seeing? What on earth am I seeing? This is 3 minutes 30 seconds. He is trying to get an advanced bot lab. That thing is not going to go up for the next 10 minutes. If you don't do something about these rovers. And finally, man, what is going on? Dude, no, no way you can get that. You don't even have the metal extractor here. That, that is just so weird. Caridian trying to push mountainside for, uh, that Kels has holding. Should be able to hold for a bit more, but these mountains are just so notorious for being pushed, being put under pressure. And Kels, not going to take a lot of damage from that light laser turret. There is the commander update, so... Swaglord dropping to 21, or... I think he was higher rank. I guess he just got some uh, lose streak. Let's see, Professor Bar, Cortex vehicles, that's what we like to see. Professor Bar likes doing the, the Banisher combo on T2. Now, Carlson, yeah, the fuck is this? I mean, what on earth? How are you even like... Okay, Commander standing still, not doing anything. He even stopped doing this just so he can construct the, the metal extractors. Man, this is... Oh, that is so suboptimal. And that is like, to say the least, suboptimal, you know? Lanius in a bit of danger. Did a good job defending the, the mountain. Kels on the other side. Oh, he's doing a good job too. Some Rocketeers helping out. Can we stop with those insane pings? What are we? Oh, no. Oh no, that vehicle plant's gonna get destroyed. Ah, uh, okay, that was so close. That was so close, that was two blitzes. Almost destroying the vehicle plant. Oh, look, five minutes, 30. I'm sure you, you could have done that <clears throat> a bit differently. But he's getting a T2 out, so... Could have been the fastest T2 lab that we've seen, but yeah. I guess in the end didn't up didn't end up being so because uh, he got raided by the rovers. Professor Bar producing brutes immediately and a trapper that is good. Hundred brutes queued up. What on earth? You're just pumping them out slowly, getting uh, windmills first, and then just getting some construction construction turrets going for a bot lab. Oh, we got some units slipping through from Milanios, but they won't find much. Just a couple of metal extractors, I'm sure. Milanios forced even further back. These Janus are so threatening. These rockets do a lot of damage. Lanius could lose his commander. Oh man, that is that is chaotic. All those artillery shells landing onto Elanius' commander. So Mountainside is in trouble and has been in trouble since the start of the game. Carlson, this is not a spot to tech. This is a spot to aid your mountain player who is who has lost his commander and actually is in a lot of trouble. And now Snidey Whiplash is forced to create units. Just to help this mountainside hold. That is going to set the entire team behind. That is not good. That is not, not good at all. Got a T2. Did he recycle it? I imagine so. Yep, he did. Does have a metal storage, so he did immediately recycle the T2 factory. He's upgrading. 
as fast as possible. That is a good way to go around these things. Snidey, you're one percent on. Oh no, that is, that is a very big problem. Frosty's uh, keeping his commander in the back, just producing units. Should focus a bit on economy, or he's just going to keep applying pressure. That could be the, the good way to go, but uh, Dervish should, should be more active with his commander. Should be way more active with his commander, just pushing these spots. And I believe these blitzes are going to destroy Elanios this time for sure. He's just getting constructors out, no real units. And these constructors are going to go down. And so will the vehicle plan. This is, this is very, this is a very, very bad thing to see. If you're one of these players here on the side, one of the six players here on the side. And yep, Alani is just leaving the game. No point in staying. He has nothing. Absolutely nothing. Did have like a construction vehicle. A couple of things, but yeah, there's just no point in playing it. Look at Carlson. What on earth were you doing, my guy? Now, <laughs> paying the price. Your T2 going down. Your economy. And shambles. That is just, that is just terrible. That is just terrible. And look at look at Kells establishing a good line of defense. The menagerie he's teching as well, but I imagine he did provide some help. Did provide some vehicles. That is very good. And he is teching up. He should recycle that lab or go to recycle his commander in op in order to speed that thing up. But yeah, Snidey uh, has a big task himself and that is to to protect this mountainside instead of teching he needs to rely on other people teching rumble crush no static defense is unusual to see are these whistlers <laughs> not a lot of damage onto these brutes but they are pretty good 600 range and 620 line of sight the radar that professor bar had right here uh it was for the line of sight it has good line of sight what is it 680 so even more line of sight than the than the whistlers oh but look frosty's still at it and yeah, these fiends will not be able to stop. Will not be able to stop these blitzes. Eleven blitzes. I'm gonna go in and raid Snidey. Will they though? We do have uh, a sumo constructing, but it is okay. There we go. Goes out, but this T2 lab could get destroyed. Yeah, just look at the damage. Ah, oh, no, that is rough. That is rough. Just going for the economy. Doesn't mind the T2 lab. He's going for the energy production. And Frosty's man had so much impact with these raids. Forcing the enemy to move all their units to help out. And still sustaining so much damage. While Dervish and, and Frosty's stay, stay in a solid position. Dervish pushing, pushing these mountains forward. And he has a lot of metal to work with. Even some constructors that he can resurrect or oh man these blitzes just spamming blitzes and rushing in pushing flanking that is pretty insane oh, these fiends from madka will not do actually leave them leave him at four percent hp that is pretty dangerous for skadoosh Dervish st stocking up on these blitzes. So many of them. 30. 30 blitzes. They are going to be able to go in and do 
considerable amount of damage. Skadoosh and Menagerie going in with tanks. Skadoosh having a lot of thugs. Oh man. He's just mass producing those, sitting on 4,000 metal. That is insanity. I think a T2 lab uh, very easily. Professor Bar in trouble. That commander is going to go down. Now that commander goes down. Dangerous spot to lose the commander, but I don't think they're in any trouble whatsoever. They're still just flooding units through. Oh no, just look at that. 50 blitzes. This can't be right. No way. This is gonna end green for sure. He's not, he's not, there's nothing he can do about these 50 blitzes. He needs mines or he's gonna lose. He needs to get a twitcher as soon as possible for dervish attacks. But look at this, Swaglord about to lose his commander. And look, Frosty's still at it. Oh no, we're redirecting units. The second these blitzes start coming through, 50 blitzes, man. Carlson is done and so is Snidey. This is GG's. There's no way they can do anything about this. I think it all came from Carlson just teching in mountains where you're supposed to help your teammate out. I mean, Kels obviously did a better job, but he did get assistance from the, the Menagerie. And look, oh man, 50 blitzes. Should just go to the next opponent. 37 left. He wants to blow up the commander. Uh, you don't need all these blitzes for it. Man, he loses 50 blitzes to eliminate one player. That is so sad to see. But Snidey Whiplash leaves the game. And Carlson loses everything. What was that? Not sure. But, oh man, look at all these units pushing through. <clears throat> Rumble Crush caught constructing a T2 lab. That is not going to happen. Kill a KP, moving his commander to help out, but uh, there's no there's no need, there's no point. T2 lab got destroyed, some of the economy as well. And I guess it has been stabilized. But yeah, we should have we should have used these blitzes much better. Dervish. 50 blitzes just thrown at a, a half built base. That was not valuable at all. It's like 5,000 metal, even more. Big fuck up from Dervish, not gonna lie, but he did get the base, so. What are you trying to do there, buddy? You have zero metal income, and you're trying to construct an advanced metal extractor, dude. Just take your twitchers, man. Look at this metal. Look at this metal. Yo. What are we doing? Finally. Jesus Christ. Oh, this push is actually good for Madka. There's no units defending this. There's a couple of fiends and a couple of turrets, but that's not gonna be good. That's not gonna be enough against these sumos. And Dervish queues up like, what was that? Like two lines of turrets. Why are we not moving this artillery? Why are we not like pushing anything here? Dervish, what is Dervish doing? Tearing up? So we should have kept up the pressure here Like this The guys are just gonna come back into the game Madka <laughs> He is He has a lot of things to work with here But He's only one guy See how much he is able to do But he is sitting on decent metal actually Some good defenses But in the long run I think Will not be able to win this. We already have tigers from Professor Bar. And 
and snipers from Kells. Kells actually having a pretty good economy. Cycling the back lab, getting a forward bot lab. Can we see him? We don't have radar though. Oh no. He's getting the units close. Caridian gonna degun all these. Oh man. That was painful to watch. We have an air screen for both players. Oh, Menagerie. Let's step in. Try to look for some more damage for information. To see if these guys have something to work with. Okay, well, Carlson rebuilding. Good, but here come six stouts. It could put a stop to Carlson. Carlson's plans. Does he see it? He does not see it. He does have some fiends here, but he's gonna move them a bit late. Not sure what he's looking at. And yeah, he's about to lose the constructors that he has left. So yeah, not the greatest, not the greatest thing. Not what you like to see. These twitchers are actually pretty fast. They are faster than the stouts, but that T2 constructor was what mattered and it got destroyed. And now we're gonna proceed to destroy the economy that you tried so hard in rebuilding. Still not moving the fiends. Bro, what the fuck am I looking at? Oh my god, dude. He's just gonna leave the game. If he doesn't, like. Here come more. Here come more. Um blitzes in case we didn't have enough oh shit decided to move the fiends god damn about time but yeah kind of too late lost your t2 constructor lost all the shit that you were trying to make and, oh mad cut no progress actually just eliminating a couple of tanks he can't even secure the position to oh damn swag lords commander going down T2 airfield from Fett von Speck. Well, he's not getting bombers, but... He should be getting bombers, but... Yeah, we do have an air screen. 36 aircraft. Shiva's from Killa KP. That is actually pretty good. Gantry unit's pretty expensive, but... can can't make use of it. He doesn't have... Wait. <laughs> wait, he's doing... He's doing gantry units with a fusion reactor. Uh, okay. He should uh, start upgrading his, like, whoa. Gotta be joking, right? Just move your T2, upgrade those goddamn metal extractors. Jesus Christ, these guys sometimes. Yeah, he's microing a Shiva, but dude, just get to upgrading. What are you doing? I mean, this was over so long ago. Why are we? Why are we even still in this game? Man, there could be a comeback, but yeah, obviously not. Like, no way you can recover from this. That was a Twilight from. Could be Madka. Possibly him or Caridian, but look, Professor Barr. Ah, Professor Barr is stepping in. Some T2 tanks. Yeah, that welder's not gonna do anything. He, he does eliminate one, one tiger that was low though. And yeah, Professor Barr about to raid Caridian, which had no defenses whatsoever. Uh, he's just running through these converters and doing a lot of damage to his uh, tanks. Well, he doesn't blow them up, which is good. Doesn't focus him at all. He's just going straight for Madka. And Madka has all these windmills so close. Yep, that is the one that you go for. No, no more build power. 
advanced fusion. Yeah, this is just not sure what self-destructive, but yeah, that is it for Madka. Madka leaves the game, and look at this. This complete destruction. All came because what? Carlson, <laughs> you know, you're gonna tech up at four minutes instead of helping your laner. But yeah, shit like that happens, so. And the game turns out this way. Unfortunate for the southern team. But yep, yeah, it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.